I am honoured to be in your presence, sir. Oh no, it's not sir, is it? MBE. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Start again. <laughs> OBE. Hello from the home of Pornicles. It is time for another edition of You in Two. Paul, thanks for joining us. The idea is two minutes to answer yeah. as many questions about your own career as possible. Right. Now, you mentioned that you'd already watched the Joe Tizard edition. Yeah. He set the standard. He scored 13, so he's right. topping the okay. leaderboard now uh, alongside Tom Scudamore, who also scored 13. So it's 13 to beat. Ollie, on the timer, two minutes. As soon as I've asked the first question, are you ready? Okay, question number one. Politolog regained his Tingle Creek crown at Sandown in December, but how many times have you won that particular grade one? 10. 11. 11. 11. 11. Yeah, was 11. Uh, yeah. 11 big, yeah. big bucks, remarkably won four stairs hurdles, but what was the combined winning distance across those four? So the combined winning distance within half a length? 15 lengths? Eight lengths. Eight lengths, okay. Uh, it's actually eight and a half. Okay, well. um, which horse gave you your last victory in the Supreme Novices Hurdle and what year? Alfaroff. That's right, 2011. Yeah. Um, name the two horses you have won in the Scottish, th th you have won the Scottish National with and what years? Belmont King in 99, I think. Uh, no, no, wait. Belmont King and AP McCoy and Vicente, who won it twice. That's right, yeah. Belmont King was 97, yeah, Vicente yeah. 20, uh, 2016, 17. Yeah, we'll give you yeah. that. Uh, Denman claimed two Hennessy Gold Cups, but in what year did you win your first as a trainer and which horse? Uh, ooh, I can see it now. Strong Flow, Ruby Walsh. Oh, I don't know what year it was, but it's Strong Flow and Ruby Walsh one anyway. 2003. Okay. Uh, Zakanda notched up 10 victories whilst training with you, including four at the highest level, but which course did his final victory come at? Aintree. Haydock. Haydock, was it? Yeah. What price was Neptune Colonge when he triumphed in the 2012 Grand National? 33 to 1. That's right. You've won the Betfair Chase on six occasions, but who was the jockey in the saddle the last time you won? No feeling. That's right. What celebratory McDonald's meal did you order after winning the King George Chase at Kempton back in December? I usually have a chicken legend. but That's probably, right, it was yeah, chicken yeah, legend, yeah. That's yeah. Right. Uh, true or false, you once said, I was exactly the kind of jockey I would employ today. Wrong. That's right, it's false, you said you wouldn't employ Yeah, exactly. Um, you still enjoyed some big wins in the saddle though, including back-to-back -back Hennessy Gold Cups, but there's a grade one that you haven't won more times as a trainer than you did as a jockey. What is it? Great one. As a, uh, the Irish convincing the Brown Irish Gold Cup. That's it, the Irish Gold Cup, yeah, that's right. Which was your first winner at Decheat? Overston. That's right. Nine. Okay, time. Perfect timing. So, how many was that? Nine. Was nine. nine right, okay. You scored nine, right. so you're level on points with Daryl Jacob. All <laughs> oh, right, yeah, good. Yeah, so um, Joe Tizard and Tom Scudamore still <laughs> top that table. You can watch those over at sportinglife.com and on YouTube. Don't forget, to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can watch all of our other content uh, somewhere around here.